Hey, 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 good morning, guys. Matt Castor here. And today we're going to revisit a subject for the loudness range, the LRA. Okay. Now you can find us up here at yourpodcastreview.com. Uh, you can follow us over here on Google Plus uh, at Matt Castor. Uh, it's going to be the Google uh, plus.google.com uh, forward slash plus Matt Castor. Uh, we've got an area up here, Podcasting with Reaper Doll. I think we've got something like 68, maybe 70 followers on that. And I want to give a couple shout outs here. Uh, the first one's going to be to, uh, give me just a second so I can find him, and it's going to be to Mr. Alex. Okay, now Alex does a thing, uh, it's called Mixed Tip Tuesdays. Uh, he's very good at what he does. I, I watch all his videos. He's taught me an extremely, just so much that deals with this, uh, with the audio industry. And Alex does the professional mixing and mastering for uh, songs, you know, for, for people with bands and they send them the material. And, uh, I leave comments on his page and he's, he's real good about getting right back. So, uh, he, he lays it out in writing very, very well. So let's go ahead and just watch his video here for a second. Are there any advantages of using more than one compressor? In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between serial compression and parallel compression. My name is Alex and this is Mixed Tip Tuesday. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Mixtip. Now, everybody says, well, Mac, listen, man, I don't have time to watch these videos. Well, you know, you're going to get out what you put in. Uh, normally, his videos run anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. As you can see right here, this one's 11 minutes and 16 seconds. And if you want to, you know, really watch a professional do something, Alex is the guy you want to see. Okay? Now, we're going to go over here back to our Orban meter. You guys know I love this meter. And the profile we're looking at here is a uh, 73. This is their 73rd uh, podcast. And here again, you can see the loudness range. You can see it from here, jump up here. Now, when you see your wave file like this, normally it's because you're using a hard limiter. Okay, and that's what they call the lawnmower effect. It looks like somebody took a lawnmower and just ran right on top of that, like a, like a yard, like grass. So let's go ahead and look at the specs. We've got a negative 15.5 as far as the lofts, uh, definitely well within the, the parameter. A 11.1 .1 loudness range. Okay, way, way too high. Uh, the uh, dB full scale of total peaks is at a 0, 0.0, and it does have 16 clips. Now, I'm not so much concerned about the clips. 16. By the time they're played through, you might get a little bit of distortion through it, but it's not hurtful on the ears. Okay. Now, after we run it through Reaper and we've done our little thing, this is the exact same profile. Okay. So now we've actually raised the volume on this. We made this louder, but now our loudness range is a negative 1.3. We're definitely well within that parameter of 4 dBs or lower. Uh, our peak, our total peak is a negative 1.4. We're within those parameters, and we have the zero uh, peaks over zero dBs. Okay, so how did we get there? Well, let's go look. And this is where we are in Reaper, okay? Now, the things I want to point out here, number one, when they did this recording, it sounds absolutely gorgeous. There is nothing wrong with the way that they've recorded it other than that loudness level, okay? So if you can see down here, uh, the mix down, these are the exact same numbers we were just looking at uh, over in our Orban loudness meter, okay? And that's what they're reflecting right here. This comes standard with Reaper. You simply go up, you pull down your analysis for the loudness. Uh, you're going to click, uh, hold the control key down and click both tracks, what you want to do. And then you're simply going to come down and hit analyze the track. So we don't need this anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just take it out. And now we're going to look at our meter here. Now I've got some points in here that I put the markers in. And I'll go over that real quick. It's real simple to do. You see the marker that's right here. That's where I know how to go to it. I can put my cursor there. Hit the up arrow and I'll zoom right into what I'm looking for. Now anywhere that I'm at in Reaper, anywhere that I want to do something with this audio, once I put my cursor there, 
I simply hit the M key on my keyboard. And here. And I apologize, normally, because that is how you do it. But with the screencast software I'm using, this is totally different. Uh, it has the M as a hot key, so when I press it, it will not show up here. But that's what you do. And once you get your marker there, you can uh, right mouse click it. Give me a second. And that's interfering with that as well. So I apologize again. Normally you would right mouse click it. You can go up there and then you can edit this. And that's what I put in. Uh, I put it in all caps so it makes it easy for me to see. But let me zoom out on this again. Because there's some subtleties here that I, I do not want to take away. Okay. So here we are. We're going to go back to that loudest point. And then I've got the loudest peak in the file that we worked on with the Reaper. And then I've got the softest peak. And that's the one that I truly want to concentrate on. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to our loudest peak. We're going to zoom in. And there it is. Okay. You can see it right away. So let's go ahead and watch the meter. We're going to solo this out. This is the original track. And we're going to play just this part of it. <laughs> right. And there it is. And I apologize. I have both these. That's not a true reading. Let me unsolo that one and let's go ahead and play this again. <laughs> right. And there's your 0, 0.0. Okay. So at this point, we're going to go down and we're going to take this same part. We're going to solo out our track we mastered in Reaper and we're going to watch it. <laughs> right. Okay. That's the same one that comes at a negative 5.7, but you do not lose the dynamics or the feel of that laughter. Now, let me come back here and we'll go to the loudest peak that we have now, which is the one we did in Reaper. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Get this out of the way. So as you can see, remember now we changed the volume here. So this raised this peak up. Now, as we go through this, this is the loudest point of this audio. Let's go ahead and watch it on the meter. Cass. And see, there's your 1.5. Now, if I want to take that and reduce that down by a half a dB, it's very simple. There's two ways I can do it. First, I'm just going to zoom in on it. What I do normally 99% of the time, I'm simply going to hit the S key. I'm going to split the track. I'm going to get my cursor just like you see it. And I'm going to hold my left mouse key. And I'm just going to slide it to the right. Now, let's watch that peak again. We'll zoom back in. We'll clear our meter. And let's watch it when we get to this point. It's to do podcasts. See, it's a negative 5.7. Okay. So I've literally just taken that loudest peak out of that entire track. Okay. So that's about that. Now, this is what I truly want to concentrate on. I want you to hear the passion in this man's voice as he's describing what goes on. Okay, now we're going to go to the original track. We'll solo it. We're going to watch our meter, but listen to the conviction in his voice. In a military action, uh, which the Supreme Court later uh, regretted, uh, but uh, that's the community story and one of many. Okay, now the reason I'm going over this again is because if you've got a 11 dB difference in your loudness range. You're going to go to the loudest part of that audio when you start to listen to it, and you're going to turn that volume down. And you're going to miss these subtleties in a professionally produced podcast. And it is so simple to keep those subtleties in there while bringing up the volume as well. And we're not talking about using a compressor. Okay? So let's go ahead and listen to that same part of audio. Let's clear our meters. That was a negative 8.2. Now let's go ahead and listen to that again. In a military action, uh, which the Supreme Court later uh, regretted, um, but uh, that's the community story. You know, where he's sitting there talking about the Supreme uh, Court, you know, regretting a decision that they made. See, we've actually brought this up 5 dBs, but we're nowhere close to even peaking. 
Okay, so how did we get here in a Reaper? Well, we used two plugins. Okay, and uh, we used our peak limiter, and we also added our tri leveler. Okay, and that's what this does. This is a voice processor. This is a free plugin. If you go up there to Google and you just type in tri leveler. Okay, you're gonna. This is this is what you're gonna go. You're gonna go to their website. You're gonna download it. If you got Reaper, I think this will even work in Audacity, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you're gonna come up here, and what I do, like I said, you've got to play with your plugins, and you're going to sit here. When when I do this, I put this on a negative sixteen. Okay, now you're over here looking with the RMS. This is root mean squared. This is not LUFS, which is Luff's full scale, loudness units full scale, I apologize. So, you know, don't worry about all of this. I mean, you, you need to know what it is, but don't worry about it. Now here you'll see the hard limiters on it is 0 0.1 negative dB full scale. And you can use the loudness curve, which is what I do. And then I would simply sit here and use this and hit render. And so that is how we got from this track, which is the original, Okay, to this track, which is the mastered. So look at the waveform as it goes through. And that is a tremendous difference, guys. Okay, such a simple process to do, yet it makes a tremendous difference in your podcast. All right. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, uh, hit us up on the website. Anything we can do to help you out, we're always here. God bless. You have a wonderful day, and we are out of here.